so one thing I like about coming an hour and a half or two hours before I gotta work is that you always bump into random things right here in the city so I bump into another festival so it's pretty much like the same thing the same type of food and stuff but I'm gonna walk around gonna see like more stuff and I think I'm craving for some empanadas but let's see what we find here in the city here in Bryant Park which is a few blocks from my work and I see they got like festivals they got like huge stage going on so it's the beginning of the summer I apologize for the quality of the video because I'm filming it with my phone because it was on the set but let's walk around and let's tour a little bit what's going on around here it looks like it's pretty cool they got like artworks soap products Thing is, I don't know where to go. Should I go this way or that way? Then they got a fountain here, but this is famous. <laughs> the thing they have about this park, park is right behind me. A lot of people get to sit there and relax during the summer times, enjoy the nice weather. And they do a lot of activities here too, like they do yoga, they, they do music festivals and stuff, so the vibes is about to start. Over here they got some jewelry, let's see, cafe, so, paintings, they got t-shirts. And you can see people playing, playing games over there. I guess this is pretty much like local stuff. But it's cool. Because like I say, this city is full of talent, you know. A lot of talent, artists, food, everything. Look at this. Desserts. It's like Brazilian stuff. It's like a bit of everything around here. There's also a bar here behind me. See all the people sitting there enjoying the weather, having a beer. So there was this, I don't know if it's Ecuadorian or Colombian spot, where they have like, you know, they had like good food, they had like empanadas and stuff. Like I walked by earlier to take a look at it, and they pretty much like my typical key shirt. So I kept looking around to see what, you know, I'm not extremely that hungry, so I think empanadas will do, so I'm gonna go walk there and see what type of empanadas they got and buy it, possibly, you know. And by the way, it's getting a little hot here. <laughs> I'm already starting to sweat. It's like a little humid. I guess the fumes of the food and the crowded area, it makes it a little bit hotter. But the weather's like 77 degrees Fahrenheit, so it feels like it's a little bit hotter in that, but it is what it is. And now I'm trying to find where the heck is that spot. I think it's maybe like two more blocks. I don't know if you can see my background. It keeps going all the way down there, so. Here it is, found it. Hola, buena. ¿Cuántos son las empanadas? Cuatro dólares. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto dólares una? De pollo, de carne y de queso. Eso no es de carne, dice beef. Esto es de carne. De carne, okay. Ah, dame dos. Tres por diez. Tres por diez. Sí. Dame tres entonces. Okay. Sí, de carne está, de carne está bien, ya. So I found a place to sit, so. She sold me uh, like an offer, like three empanadas for ten dollars. Maybe for other countries it's expensive, but you know, New York City is expensive, so I'm just gonna dig in. Let me grab one of this down here. Let's see how big they are. Okay. Let's dig in.
pretty good. I mean, we reached the meat, yeah. I guess when I reach to the meat level, it's gonna be even better. So let's dig in deep to the meat. Nothing better than eating in the city with all the noise and craziness in the background. Sitting outdoors and seeing the live activity going out. Oops, dropping meat here. Let me. Mm. So I'm really selective with empanadas, especially when I grew up in Puerto Rico weed uh, and panadas and all that but this one's pretty good you know it's fresh I thought it was gonna taste like a little bit old but it tastes really good you know it's seasoned up really good so it's tasty so I finished up my empanadas and like I said it gave me three for the price of ten I still got one more left here and I got a bottle of water so like I wasn't too hungry a little bit full and I don't want to put it away so I think I'm just gonna go find a homeless guy and I'm just gonna give it to him him or her so I know New York City is full of homeless so might as well whatever you know give a little bit that you have and make somebody happy so let's see if I can find that person Found a homeless guy there and he definitely was hungry so I gave it to him and his expression when I gave him even though it was not a lot but seeing his, his expression after I gave him that you know he was so happy and it makes me happy too even though it was, it was not much I wish I could do much more for him but at least I made his day a little bit you know because they're humans too no matter what maybe they went through some bad times but some of these people maybe they're smart at the same time some of them they might have collars you know nobody's perfect maybe some bad stuff in life made them fall in the situation that they are so never ignore them and you know they're human beings like us so always give a little bit uh happiness to them so that was the end of my blog uh, i think the best part was when i gave my panada to the homeless guy and a bottle of water and it means a lot to me so i'm just gonna end this video right here i hope you guys enjoy this video stay tuned for more and peace and god bless y'all